Hello and welcome into the So Rare Data Game Week 469 preview. I am Andrew Laird. You can find me as Lairdino on So Rare. Joined once again by Harry Trades of the Harry Trades YouTube channel. Apologies for being slightly late. Harry and I were deciding whether the game is gone or if it's uh, the best time to put money in, and we didn't decide in the three minutes we were talking before. We'll get there, right, Harry? Yeah, I'm sure. We'll have a little chat after the, uh, after the stream, maybe for a couple of minutes. See if we can... Uh... Yeah, work it all out. That's right. Right, We'll figure it all out. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming in. Toby said, let's let's see if Austria Vienna can bring me to glory again. They do seem to be just killing everybody in that relegation bracket, whatever you call it. Bob said, nothing personal, Toby, but as a rapid fan, I'm going to have to root against that. So that's fair. And major NFT on the podium with Bob and Toby. Congratulations to you three. Kizo Gaming said, Don's not playing. The gallery's in disarray. I... No Eredivisie this weekend. Boy, was I excited about that. Um, Major NFT, I have the goalkeeper blues as well. SR Monkey, what's up? What does Kai say here? Fifth place in Super Rare Champions Classic Division 3. Fifth place in Super Rare Champions Classic. Okay. Thanks for it. Yeah. Appetite for more. That's right. So congratulations on that. Jacob, what's up? So Rare Mamba. Let's chase those Ws. Well, that's all I'm doing is chasing. I'm not getting any. Uh, but lots of chasing here. <laughs> Red or dead, Peptetta, Alex, death taxes, and hashtag pray for Madsen and Mealing. Not, Harry, it's not. It's just uh, not this, is, I know. this is the game week we wanted, Magnus Madsen. And it looks like we're not going to get him. Uh, Mike Baston, what's up? Ian Sober, afternoon chaps. It's Tony Fruke's game week, and we're just living in it. Mm, um, it is. I can. I can attest to that. We'll we'll get there. Yeah, it's Wilson, Charlie, and Sean Thorpe. Thanks for coming in. Um, yeah, so no error to VC. It was actually really funny because the number of people who are like, "So PSV going to kill everyone again this weekend?" and they were like, <laughs> "No, they're not playing." And everyone's like, "Wait, what?" And like, we all feel like we have a chance now. I know it's funny, isn't it? Whether we, we do, do or it. not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. I will say, due to some a number of midweek matches. If I can scroll all the way bottom. We do have like a number of of games that are missing odds. So just be aware of that. Um, because like this um, Verazden or however you say this uh, team's name, like they're playing Zagreb this midweek. Yeah. And so we don't have the odds yet, but that should be a really good one against Rudez, who everybody um, uh, beats up on. But let me see. Yeah, we've got some K-League Although that's probably just a K League issue, um, and then some games that were just like we found out River Plate plays Boca, like we found out last night. I guess we haven't just gotten the odds yet, so just patience on some of those. So the odds that we go through today may be a little different if you are watching this literally later today on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday morning. Although if you're watching on Friday, it really should be Quinny and Harry on their game week deadline show. So check <laughs> that out. Um, Kizo said positive is, an, oh, also no Celtic in contenders. Negative is still having to play Celtic in the Scottish Cup. <laughs> Fair yeah, enough. Ab Aberdeen Celtic this weekend, I think, in the Cup. All right, yeah. here we go. Okay. And a few good Prem teams not playing. That's right. I did notice that. Um, we all have a chance, Led. <laughs> we all got a chance. I mean, Rika here at the top? Is, it, is this the right game? Is this All-Star? <laughs> what is going on here? I know. I think it's my week, Led. I've been waiting for this one. It's the first time I've ever had five triple A's in a in a matchup. If that makes sense, like I've never had that. How good is that? It does feel good. And one of those players isn't even actually that that one player we both share. Well, we don't share the same card, but he's like the exact same card. Who we for Rika? No, no, no. It's a different team, but he has a triple A. So we'll see if we can you can guess that one. Um, I don't think he's on that screen either. But anyway, yeah. No, it, it does seem like. Yeah, with some of those massive, yeah, massive teams not having matchups, could it be time for a few of the lesser guys? I mean, you know, your Zenits are still up there, your Sportins, Portos, but we've seen, you know, those teams seem to slip up. Um, well, have been slipping up actually, not Sporting, but um, yeah, ben, Benfica are up there as well. But yeah, the Charlie's point with the, the Premier League as well, I think that's a really important one. A um, couple of teams not, you know, not playing there, so that really. Yeah, does that lessen the prize pool? Do we know? I don't know. I haven't really looked personally, but does that mean we have a condensed prize pool of some sort? I really don't know. Anyway, yeah, in the I, chat didn't, <clears throat> I didn't look into it enough, to be honest. In fact, this is literally the first time I'm looking at the weekend, other than my own lineups. Yeah. Um, I will say, because you mentioned Zanit, um, <clears throat> Douglas Santos is suspended. Oh, is he? 
Yeah, he got a yellow card. And so um, we just can't, I just can't have nice things. I know. Have you, yeah, I was going to say, have you, be, have you managed to like line them both up? But you have a couple of times, haven't you? Like Not maybe many, once. Though. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> once. And I think I got a DMP and got relegated. Uh, but yeah, so Wendell missed last week for yellow card accumulation. And then Douglas Santos got a yellow in that game and therefore will be suspended for this match against Orenburg. The mighty Gabriel Florentin. <laughs> yeah. yeah nice. I tell you what, though, I've never seen Athletic Bilbao Athletic Club that high up in the matchups tab ever. And I don't think they ever right. will again, maybe. Yeah, RIP to Sam Ty with his Granada being the third biggest underdog of the entire game week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough. Let, let's look at the Prem because we were just saying how there were a few teams off. Um, so how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 teams playing. Mm, which, <clears throat> I mean, the best two teams are away, which is never a bad thing if you don't own those cards. Um, yeah. Villa at home to Bournemouth, I would say, is that is probably the standout, although they do play this midweek, right? So that might be the only thing, not the only thing, but one of the things you have to worry about. The rest, though, I mean, I can't really, I can't really pick them, to be honest. Like, they're, they're tough games. I think the biggest question of the entire Premier League this weekend is, does Dwight McNeil finally get on the score sheet? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Do Everton actually score a goal is probably the... Uh, the better question. I mean, I don't know what's going on. I mean, yeah, they were go they were going to be Burnley, fair enough. But the rest, rest of those uh, results are really bad, right? What's that one win in? Oh, sorry. God knows how many games. That's funny. The last time they won was against Burnley. If that means. <laughs> yeah, they beat Burnley and literally nobody else. That is some going. I know they've had a few tough games. Well, they're going to have tough games, right? It's the Prem, but to win four know. straight and then just go on this. Awful, awful run. Well, that four games streak was like like coincided with the news of them, you know, getting deducted those points. It literally was like that game week. They were like, right, we need to win a couple of games. They won them. Hart didn't even concede a goal. Yeah. <laughs> and then just absolutely capitulated. I like this one. Dwight McNeil. <clears throat> <laughs> that was a class. <sighs> Let me see here. So he's got... That's wild though. Like 13 decisives in 40 in his last 40 is actually so many more than I was expecting because yeah. it's only two in his last 15. Right. Yeah. But like four home games in five. Yeah. Good point. Not, not bad. Maybe this is, this is it. This is the run. Yeah, this is the run. Um, yeah. But I don't like any of those fixtures. I'll be honest. None of them stand out apart from maybe the Villa one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, Oh, for for here. I thought you meant for, for just for like Everton. Yeah. Oh yeah, not for Everton. Just in yeah. general. Yeah. I mean yeah. genuinely. Uh Wolves away for Arsenal. I mean they they'll probably still get a result, but are we gonna see, you know, incredible SO five scores after midweek? Right. I, I don't know. Um Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think it looks pretty wide open, Premier League. Let's, let's see what they're up against in terms of champions. I think most people play Premier League in like the Premier League comp anyway with their Premier League cards. Yeah. But so we do have Athletic Club there, Lons, Girona. Like, what is this game week? I know. I mean, is it uh, El Clasico this weekend? Yeah, it is. It is. It, it is, is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Stupid timing for that. I know. Like, that you just have to, obviously, Barca went out last night. So they'll be, I think Real Madrid, if Real Madrid win tonight, I think they're going to just batter Barcelona on the weekend, Agreed. like 6 0 or something. Yeah. <laughs> I really can't just see that. Um, yeah, I don't know. He looks, yeah, champ Europe looks, oh, champion, sorry. Um, yeah, looks again pretty wide open. This could be one of those weird game weeks, Led, that maybe everyone's been waiting for if you don't have, or you do have the right. cards that, you know, high up on this matchup tab, yeah. But even like, like Leipzig are the top favorites in the Bundesliga, but they're away. Yeah. Not that that matters so much, <laughs> but like Bayern Munich away to Union Berlin. It's uh, Rano season again. I'm sure he'll bag another 96 or something. Liverpool way to Fulham. Yeah, I easy. saw a clip from the inter on the internet yesterday of mm. somebody saying how difficult it was to play Fulham. And then maybe there was a team in currently in first in the Premier League that may slip up against Fulham in the future. Shout out to Sam Ty, who made that call. Okay, yeah, on his old Sky Sports uh, cameo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, honestly, Amazing. 
It's amazing Champions. how far you can get when you started looking up with Laird and then all of a sudden you're sky school. No, no. If only we took a percentage off him. The a little little agency fee. Yeah. We blew it. We blew it. Lesson learned. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, Toby said this is the week we see Clone, uh, clone or Leal smash. Um, mm, maybe, but Leal played midweek. Strasbourg? Strasbourg. They're not terrible, my, by the no. way, Strasbourg. They have a, quite a bit of firepower up front. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if it was quite a bit of, yeah, they seem to score goals. I know Rim, well, Rim's are okay, actually, but yeah, Bakwa, uh, Kevin Gromero. Hmm. Wow. It's a name I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> um, <clears throat> David Alves said Leverkusen and Bayern probably rotate. I mean, good luck with Leverkusen for the rest of the season. Unless they, I mean, do they have any reason not to try to finish undefeated, though? Undefeated? Yeah, good point. Yeah, that that probably goes goes in your favor, doesn't it? If you have their cards in that, they're probably like if they had lost, you would have thought like, yeah, they'll just rotate now. But yeah, you know. Um, Glenn said we also have a Milan derby, derby and Dortmund Leverkusen. Oh, so there's well, the Leverkusen. Yeah. When will the next round of like European games be? Like, say if Leverkusen go through Thursday, like when will they play again? Is it next midweek? Because if it is, um, then you could see a lot of rotation. I it's would a say. week after. Right, okay. So two weeks from today, or yesterday. So they play this week. Okay, yeah. So they'll have a free midweek in between, maybe, before. Although they would play Thursday, right? Leverkusen. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, yeah. play Saturday, and then, yeah, nothing midweek. Oh, I say nothing. I don't know. They might have a cup game, but. True. Um, okay. True. Um, <clears throat> yeah, everyone talking about. Oh, Tyler's saying first week of May. Uh, oh, it is. So you get two oh, weeks. Wow. Okay. So that's helpful. Mm, yeah, that is helpful. Thank you, uh, Stylish. Um, and Charlie said Leverkusen look just as good, just as good when they play their second string team. It the number of results that they've pulled out with those guys is is just crazy. No, no. Um, it doesn't seem to matter, does it? But guessing who plays is probably the issue, right, right? From the start, but that might not matter. And obviously, big games in Norway and Denmark this week as well. This game week, um, and Graham said they're in a cup final, so no midweek cup games. Of course, they're in, the, yeah, because they haven't lost yet. Anyway, anyway, so yeah. It doesn't seem like Champions is going to be dominated by any one team. At least we say this now. Right. Um, yeah. The, what a weird game week. So Challengers, we have no air to VC. Uh, like Jupiter's split. So they, you know, the tough teams are playing tougher teams. Mm -hmm. And I guess we've got Portugal. <clears throat> Galatasaray at the top. Braga's not minted, Sporting barely minted, Copenhagen bar barely minted. Five of these players, I have five, so Harry, I'm going to play one. All injured? I was going to say, yeah. I'm going to play one. And is that Larson? It's not. I don't <laughs> think anybody could ever get me to figure out a way. If they had a cap 100, maybe I would play Jordan Larson, but man. Oh. Yeah, again, I mean, seeing into Miami up there, is, is quite weird. Not weird, but like for an MLS team to be that high up on challenges. Uh, yeah, but I mean, rubbish, not I mean. that, that no, crazy. it's not. But like for MLS, I don't know. We never, I not well, we never see it, but you know, above 60% is quite rare, I would say. But this is yeah. probably one of the exceptions, isn't it? Because Nashville have been pretty terrible and they have been, yeah, yeah. So, this is the run that they're on here because obviously they've had goalkeeper issues as well. And that's a one, one win. Yeah. Two wins. Yeah, one win. One. Yeah. Hmm. Gosh. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. They're bad. Well, they Nashville have already played into Miami and they lost three one in the Champions League. So might be a decent indication of, you know, what's to come. Was that Joe Willis's last oh no, he didn't. Oh, there he is. Is he still suspended? Or was No, this... I think he's I think he's been benched. Like, He's just been dropped, huh? I'm pretty sure that last game he was on the bench, yeah. 
Agent Cooper, when Bazuna gets officially ruled out, Southampton will climb to the top of the Challenger match. <laughs> no, it's because they're playing Cardiff. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a bit of both, to be fair. But yeah, Sula season? Mm. Nah, no, <laughs> never. Uh, Leicester home against West Brom is there. Charlie said they look lost. What does the championship table look like these days? They've bottled it big time. They really time. have, right? Mm, big time. Plymouth beating them. It's tight, but then really have a, yeah, Leicester and Southampton have a game in hand, but they actually play each other. Not this weekend, obviously. I think it's next midweek. Southampton are away, I'm pretty sure. So that'll be absolutely massive depending on what happens this weekend. Wow. Yeah. Ten losses for Leicester, too. That's wild. Yeah, they've gone on a bad couple of games. Real bad. It is so funny that Quinny shows up now, because I was just about to say, I'm fairly mm. certain Quinny, there's something about, and it may, maybe it doesn't apply to the championship because they have more games, but it was something about ten losses or ten wins. Maybe it's ten wins. That if you can get make it to ten wins in a regular 20 league, 20 team league, like you're almost guaranteed to avoid relegation. Mm -hmm. But the 10 losses for Leicester made me think like, I wonder if it's 10 losses you can't win or something like that. But right. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot compared to the, the pack, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> ben said Leicester just securing us two more games for the playoffs. I, <laughs> did they, did they score those last year? They, sh well, I don't, I don't know, but surely they did. No, I would I think remember. so. Who played in the play? I genuinely can't remember. Because obviously, yeah, Leicester and Burnley won the league, right? Uh, right, yeah. So, Did Luton go up through the playoffs? Or am I, I just imagining so. that? Or was it Chef? No, it might have been Chef. I can't remember. No, Chef won it, didn't they? I don't know. I thought Burnley won it. Didn't, yeah. Burnley won it. I can't remember who came second, though. Yeah, Luton went up through the playoffs. Okay. Mm. Anyway, Coventry. Uh, yeah, it was Guy Guy Carres or however you pronounce his name. I think he played. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, I mean, at least like you said, the the era of not being in there is is big. That takes a weight off um, a lot of these matchups. And yeah, MLS. I'm just seeing lots of MLS teams in here. Yeah. Which yeah, this is prob you know good timing considering the the weekly's done now even though it was done last weekend. But yeah, there's definitely a few matchups you could get involved with there that aren't, you know, your, your PSVs and stuff. Bromby at home, that's a massive game, isn't it? Massive. Mm, huge. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I, I mean, I think it follows the same trend as, as Champ and yeah. Prem for me. I, like, we're going to see anomaly scores this weekend. I, 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 as in, like, for the, you know, for, like, lesser scores. Like, I just don't see us seeing... The six hundred, what seven hundred, right? The pranks he was smashing yeah. out in uh, in Premier League this weekend. So I don't know. I'd, I'll probably be proved wrong somewhere along the line. There's going to be something because we have Brazil. I guess. I was going to say, but even the Brazil ones are not like any overwhelming favorite. They play midweek though, late as well. True. They, I think they I mean, play every game week. They play every game. They play like a hundred straight games. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Fluminese played last night. I think I saw. Um, there's loads tonight, and yeah, it's just ridiculous, yeah. right? But if you if you told me that Minero played like Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, I would believe you. <laughs> I know, um, it's, it's crazy. Quick follow up from before Ben uh, clarified something that they score playoffs if it's only one league, and so the example was if the top of the bun two Bundesliga plays the bottom of the top mm. tier, they don't score it because it's separate leagues. So. Got you. Ben Johnson, way to be. Thank you very much. Yeah, Belgian league, like the the lowest team that finishes in, in that relegation battle has to play, don't they, top of yes. the Belgium or something. So uh, yep. Belgium too. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Man, it does seem maybe Contenders is here to save us with some Zenit, Salzburg. Yeah, POV, Cruz Azul. There's a few. There'll be a few smashes in here. I'm sure of it. Uh, a POV might there. score 150. Oh, I know if he could, right? 
Well, um, Salzburg just sacked their coach. So really? That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's gone. Paris, yeah, that could be the one. That's uh, Cabal, isn't Is it? that Nicambio? Yeah. Cambio, excuse me. Cabal in the number 10. He's the, oh, he's the, uh, the boy. Yeah. 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 You didn't know he was this good. Yeah, he's been stupid good recently. Wow. No wonder. No wonder there's excitement. <laughs> like CSK have been terrible. Yep. I don't even know who they, what is that? I don't even know why I Gonzi or something. Yeah. I mean, oh, Jesus, man. Honestly, I, again, I'm I'm having the same feelings. Like there's a lot of teams here that okay, Senechen at home. They'll def yeah, there'll definitely be some to sneak up on us. Tigres at home. Um yeah. Is this the first J League one? Uh yeah. So Kobe? My God. Our boys are not too far away, Led. Come on. Fifty four, there we go. But I know, they got I know Tommy to deal with. I know. How are you how are you combating that one? <laughs> uh, my like my worst nightmare. Yeah, I um, have that predicament at rare now. I have both at rare and you have both at super. So I don't know how yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna split them up, to be honest. That's the worst is that I have to split them up and I'm not sure I have like two full lineups. I think I moved Nishikawa to cap 240, to be honest. Okay. I, um, yeah, I mean, the way the you are playing, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Usami did something, you know, dark green there. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to disagree with you on that one. Yeah. Um, Mazatlan Juarez, I believe, is two teams that will not be in the playoffs. Got you. Let me double check that. Mazatlan Juarez. Yeah. Oh, Atlas. God, I hate that team so much. <laughs> anyway. Um, man. So when I was doing my lineups, I was like, I don't really have anything good this week at all. Mm -hmm. And maybe nobody does. I mean, I do. I'll be honest. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's my week. I need to. I need to do it. I didn't do it last week. That's it's right, the right. The, the Riker, Riker boys. boys. Yeah, I got it wrong. Well, no, I didn't get it wrong. I think Idrissi just let me down. But Riker just like printing clean sheets right now. Like it's ridiculous. And I know for a fact they're going to concede this weekend. Yeah. Wait, but, wait a minute. Yeah. One, two, they three, just don't concede goals. Five, six, like seven, it's ridiculous. Eight, Nine and ten. Yeah, and I sold the Supra. <laughs> Which yeah, that's just whatever. But. Yeah, he's just been ridiculous. And I still, I don't think I capitalized on any of those, if I'm being honest. Maybe one or two, <laughs> maybe a push, but genuinely, I don't think I have. I really don't. Which Nice yeah. run. Looks like you should be in uh, second division in Spain. <laughs> yeah, it does look like, like Jose Caro. Uh, Jose over Caro, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing so that, yeah. that this game has allowed us to make a joke about Jose Caro, whoever that is. No. I think I could ask a hundred thousand people who Jose Caro is, and nobody would know. You could ask the whole of the U.S. I think. Yeah. <laughs> until I no until I found you, and then I. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Alvaro Fernandez, another one. Yeah, like what? What? What has this game done to us? I know. I know. <clears throat> All right, so Harry, let so going back to this All Star list. Who do you think is the highest rated player in All Star in the pick scores? Ooh, I'm I'm honestly going to back Lebrovich and say he's going to be up there as a goalkeeper. I don't think he's going to be first. I think Dries Mertens will be first. Wow. Yeah, he wrecked me mid well on Monday, and I think with that Pendix Ball matchup could be a no brainer. Um, I don't think Wendell's up there. I'm pretty sure he's a double A right now, but that might have changed. Sporting. Okay. Maybe like Goncalves, maybe Trincao. I was going to say your boy, how are we saying his name? Guy Carez? Guy Carez, yeah. But Led, he's on a... Have you seen what's gone on with him? He hasn't scored no. for like five games or something. Oh, really? Thank God. Yeah, he's on a bit of a, a drought. Or Cabal, maybe. Yeah, Cabal could be first, couldn't he? Well, Really? Number one? Yeah, that feels a bit of a... Like a yeah, that's a bit of a stretch, I think. I, mm, I'm still sticking with Dries Mertens. All right, I'm um, I'm gonna keep us all in the dark while I 
come over here since <laughs> I have to add the other positions. Ooh, Ian says Bruno Goda. Yeah, Riker boy, potentially. Wow. Really? Kamal He's been... is up there. Mm, okay. A little, little groin injury. But he's been ridiculous. He's yeah. back. He's firmly back, yeah. And who do they play? Bremen away, though? So let, there's Cabal. Cabal's so third is a good shout. Yeah, it's actually a decent shout from, I think it was to, yeah, Tobias. There's Mertens. Yeah, Luch- you had that one. You didn't yeah. go with a Cardi. Didn't go with a Cardi. Lucho's up there, which is quite surpri- not surprising, but. I mean, like he's a, been. He's been good. Yeah, he has been good. You know what his problem is? Playing against Brad Guzan. He has no chance. I know. I know. No chance. Yeah, he's been good. Give me some peaks. Come on. Can't even get to I know. two. I've cursed him. Sorry, lads. Yeah, I mean, Mer- yeah, double Mertens. We got we got the other Wendell. He's been terrible recently. I'll just skip. I'll just have to <laughs> let you know that. He's been shocking. Jack Stevens, Roden. There's Grimmy. He's still a triple A. Got Chris, yeah. Ooh, Bruno Goddard is up there. Fair enough. Hmm. Sergio Ramos, what year is it? I know. There's my, there's uh, MMD. Although he did, you know, not produce the goods on the weekend, let's be honest. I think it was like a 20 AA. Yeah, it was bad. Hmm. Two shots on target as well. He does it all. Hmm. He's the best player on the platform, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree. There's Alvaro Fernandez. Somebody shouted him out before. Yeah, that's a nice one. I tell you, he's gone off the boil a little bit. Has Desar decided to just not play in the playoffs or whatever they're playing in? The split? Has he not been playing? Well, no, he has. It just mean like, I don't know. We're just missing those peaks, you know? Yeah. Big Maybe time. they got a new Opta guy. Yeah, maybe he sold his Desart and he, they have the same optic, <laughs> but he's just bought Sankum's to come back into the. Uh, yeah. into the- <laughs> you know what's like kind of crazy though is that it's possible that these scores are like one tackle off. Like if he had like a triple triple and then you go down to a triple yeah. double, or it's like one tackle like here. Although that's forty six with a double double with so with a yellow card. <laughs> and a, yeah, exactly. There's a triple triple. No, I agree. He loves a yellow mind. Um, There's a triple, yeah. Triple, triple, yeah, yeah. You're right. The margins are fine, and he did get a own goal in that one. Yeah, he's fine. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Toby said, "Do you want to see a curse?" Check out Kaigo Sunimoto. I bought his around March 11th. Yeah, he's playing at um, Severet or oh, Swiss okay. League. So March 11th would be game week 457. So, oh boy. boy. (laughs) I mean, they've decided to lose four in a row. That's never going to help. No, yeah, that doesn't help. It's great. Like, do you think, like, some of these guys, I bet, have never been a AAA? There's your Lebrovich. Yeah. There's Uh, Petroli. Nice. Ito. Ito's been good. Yeah. Let's go. Josh Cullen, triple A. Now that's a sentence probably that's never, well, not never because they were really good in the championship, but especially this season anyway. He's been, he's been decent recently. He's been yeah. turning some really nice AA. That's all they have though. That's the problem. Yeah. There's not enough. Verts triple A. Yeah. I think it's just all over the place. For well, one thing's for certain, this game we cleared, there will be no Gavin Bazunu. RIP. Yeah. That could be serious too, right? Yeah, it looks like a, an Achilles injury. So, yeah, that doesn't sound good at all. Does he have another year or two? Yeah, he of has a I think he has. He's like, he was, not was, he is really young. He still Pretty is, sure right? he's, yeah. Yeah, he's 2026. 20, so two more seasons after this? Yeah. 
Toby's calling yeah. it Paris FC defensive stack. Mm, yeah. Let's see. Is it this guy? No. No. 25. I don't know. Oh, wait. That's right. Could be that. Um, but yeah, maybe. They just don't get clean sheets. But wow, that's a nice combo, though, if they get one. Look at this guy. 30 AA, who, who is this? Ah, oh, man. Gardin. 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 Wow. L569. That'll work. Uh, left, left back, yeah. Set pieces? Got to be in and around them, hasn't he? Surely. No, oh, Cabal. None. They don't get many None corners, by the way. What's that? I was going to say, they don't get many corners. Like, that was the last five games, and the highest was nine. That, that didn't sound like... Yeah, you're right. That's not a lot. 59 and 15 for a game. That's not bad. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's all the guys we would think. Yeah. Ricky Pooj. Pooch. Pooch. Yilmaz has been good for um, Galatasaray. He scored a couple last game, I think. I feel like I just never pay attention to Galatasaray. It's just been the Dries Mertens show, I think, hasn't it, for the last last season or so? Yeah, like I have Muslera, and I have he's the only one. And so if they win eight nil or two nil, like I don't care. I, as right. long as the nil is there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they have been. Jeez, six goals, four goals. Somehow only held to one by. That's how you sport. It's somehow. High. Man. Dries Mertens being this good still is wild. And he's like 30 quid. I think maybe that's the midfielder card, but oh, he's gone up now. <clears throat> oh, that's dollars, mine, but still, yeah. Mm, yeah. He's been too good. People got to people have to pay for it now. Yep, there's a premium for it. Wow, next four. Wow, I think he had something like seven key passes last game. I don't know whether that'll come through here. Exactly. Yeah, so on sofa score, I'll show you seven because one of them is the assist, if that makes sense. Yep. Um, they have, yeah, ridiculous. They show key passes, right? Right, yeah. That's the difference between key passes and attempted assists. Attempted yeah. assists, yeah. But they will show big chances created as well. Yeah. That was probably um, the assist. Right, yeah. Wow. Here you go, Harry. Speaking of sets. Yeah, what's happened to Wass? Has he lost his big toe or something, has he? I think it was his ankle. Right. So from what I understand, he's not going to train anymore. Wow. And just play games. I but like because it. of the ankle, he's not on sets. And... He can still score goals. Interesting. <laughs> well, you just lose all your technique when you... Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I really... I really didn't understand it because it was like, do you want him like jostling in the box or even at the top of the box and having to like, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like, mm -hmm. I feel like the corner is the safest place for him to be. <laughs> yeah. In. You're out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting. Maybe, maybe he's, uh, I, was a I mean, I guess up. if it's his left mm -hmm. foot, if he has to plant on it, I don't know. Yeah. He's no Santi Cazola though. If, if he was Santi, he could take him with both, but you know, only special players can do that. That's true. Special. Good point. Speed, where is Santi this week? E. Uh, we don't even have the... Uh... Why does it say no game? Yeah, that's weird. The the, the uh, radars aren't working either. Uh -huh. So data is still on their first cup of coffee. <laughs> huh. Let me check the app. <laughs> If everybody doesn't know, you can check the pick scores on the app. 
if you so this is the regular screen you go to up here there's a little arrow and if you hit it come on you go to the next game week and we have pick mm -hmm. scores and the matchups in there so let's see all-star rare i don't know if i can search for just santi cazorla but let's see um <clears throat> What is he in? They're in contender, right? Yeah. All right. Quadruple. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think without being able to search Kazorla, I'm not sure I'm going to find this one. Can I do it by league? Mm, no. Oh, well. If anyone wants to find that for me, that'd be great. Um, <clears throat> yeah. See, this is why you watch the show. This was in the last update. So if you guys haven't updated your Sora data app, uh, that's right, Charlie. You can check the matchup ratings as well. All right there. And later today, maybe in like an hour, there'll be a video of me talking about this show right here. Magic. It is. It is magic. But yeah. <clears throat> I should have brought that up at the beginning. Jeez. <laughs> I know. I thought everyone knew, honestly. Not everyone, but I thought that was just the thing. Like, I, I do check pick scores on, on my phone from time to time, yeah. Just to make sure they're right. That's right, all. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, everyone can check that out. It's The pick scores are obviously only for the upcoming game week, not like future game weeks after that, because they're not calculated until the game weeks, like the next game week starts. So, But matchups, if we have odds, they'll be in there. So check that out. Um, I guess... Even though it, we don't really care anymore, I'll check the 41 and below. L15s, that is. Acturgalu at the top. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Now that. Yeah, there we go. I think. Did that finally work? Oh, I went to 42. There, see? How do you not play Nishikawa and Cap 240? Mm, yeah, you've got me thinking now. I might have to. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> he doesn't deserve to be anywhere else. Hmm. You know who we didn't talk about, Harry, which <clears throat> as we're talking about Nishikawa, are we going to play Schultz this weekend? Yeah, that's, that's a big question, actually. Um, I mean, if you're good enough for the bench, surely you're good enough to start the next game, right? I would think like, so. Like if Holy Brighton, say, got injured that game, would have he come on? You know, like is he... Or is he just on the bench for morale purposes? You just don't know, do you? But I don't know. That would throw me completely, though, because I there's no way I can play Schultz in cap 240. Like with no. a 15. Right, but Nishikawa brings it down, you know, what's that, a 99 between two. Yeah, you're still asking for a lot, aren't you, from the other three, but... It's the penalties led. It's the pens. <laughs> Imagine if he's off pens and Hoy Brighton just takes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, out of here. I'm out of here. Toby is exactly what I was thinking. Evian's still under forty. Yeah. We'll What's see. happened to um your other boy from Bodo Glim? Um, JPH. Yeah. Who's cursed him? Slow start. Okay. That's all. Okay. He brings up the inter an interesting dilemma in terms of positional stuff because he has midfielder and forward cards, and the midfielder card actually scores better. Wow. But I think what some people... So the issue, like, for me, like, the midfielder card doesn't work because I have other midfielders to play. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all a matter of, like... If you have another forward, you can play, and then JPH mid. Got you. Apparently, he's playing without confidence, which is crazy. He should just read the Sora Scandinavia Discord for like five minutes. He'll feel great about himself. <laughs> you just all wax in lyrical. Yeah. <laughs> That's class. Maybe he needs to come on this show, and I'll just tell him. Uh, it's the Charlie said, is the rule in Scandinavia you have to have a three letter <laughs> abbreviated name? To smash. Oh. <clears throat> Maybe that's a special weekly. Yeah. GPH, MMD. Who else we got? Um, 
Frankie yeah. DeYoung, FDJ. Yeah. Okay. Can we get away with that? I guess Luke DeYoung. Yeah, that works. That sounds like cheating, though. It does a little bit, but no, I think I'd give it to you. I can't think of any more, you know? Struggling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to make Ram James. <laughs> you got James Ward Prowse. Kyle Walker Peters. Yeah. Yeah. I would play MDC if he actually played. Oh, CCV. Carter Vickers. That's a good one. The Deca- uh, Disciple or Decipher. That's a good one as well. Yep. Um, and everyone in the game. <laughs> Literally Katie, everyone. That's weekly, baby. <laughs> yeah, KDB, because we have uh, Ooh, yeah. Y, YBG, who is the Korean KDB. Or was. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. I'm glad we <laughs> about that to finish on. Thank you to everybody <laughs> for coming. If you could please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Shout out to Quinny. Go over to the Harry Trades YouTube channel. Subscribe there as well, because, uh, you know, the least we could do. Yeah. Well, actually, the least, that's the least. Slightly more, click on all the videos and just like them. That's all. Um, But I'm sure everyone here has already watched all your videos, Harry. So anyway, thank you to everybody and good luck on this very strange game week.